Hello everyone, this is Stevio here on Squad's third official farming tournament. So this is the first real day of farming on this tournament. How will we handle the pressure? We got some big time YouTube farmers here. We got the King Squad. We got Spencer TV. We got the Gorilla Man. We got RD Allen. Clutchin. They're all over the place. Will we fold under the pressure? So today, we have to create a farm. We need to create a farm because we didn't buy a farm. So let's get started there. The stakes uh, are high uh, and serious here. Even They're the police are serious. Innocent old Jimmy is just coming down the road in a combine. And what do the police do? Play chicken with it. I don't know who makes out here. The police or the combine. But it seems like both loss here. The best way to do that, bud. But we gotta get him. Oh, he's taking off on us. What, the combine's taking off on you? The bad part is the truck, like, totally punked the so combine. I mean, don't, <laughs> don't ram him, CJ. Come on now. Let's get in front of him. Uh oh. You are, you are bad at vehicle interdiction. I think he's riding you, CJ. Well, you didn't pass that freaking pullover exam. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like this is a case of mistaken identity or police brutality. One of the two. Oh, cop now that that police report is over with, let's get back serious and get to farming again here. First, we gotta create our farmyard. One of the most important parts to a farm is your grain storage. Well, we will place that first. On this map, I don't get my trees and I don't get my grass textures. So, we'll go with a white picket fence. With farm sim mechanics here, it's really hard getting a straight fence, and I'm pretty picky at it. So now we will highlight everything green. Like I said before, we don't have grass textures with the ground modifications on this map, so I'll have to just do with what I have. Also, while we're building our farmyard, we need to keep both of our combine harvester workers working in the field. What is this? Am I driving a grain cart?
Back to the important part, the farmyard build. What I said in the past, I'm very picky when it comes to my white picket fence. Now it comes to another important part, a shop barn on my farmyard. And of course, every farm needs plenty of storage. And we were interrupted again by our two harvesters. The money part is the most important part, so we gotta keep these harvesters a running. I also decided to put a real barn here on our farmyard. This will also work as a bale sell point for us. Now we gotta clean it up as best as possible. Man, I wish I had my grass textures. So this ground was really hard to smooth and work. I don't know if it was just the way the map is or the lag or whatever. I was having problems with my highlighter here. So with grass textures it's easier for me to see if the ground is level or not just by the shadows in the grass so I needed to get really close to be able to see where it was off.
You know what they say, go big or go home, so we went with the big shop on this map. Now we do some more cleanup here. So doing the neighborly thing here, we got a call from Farm Boy, needed a little help getting unstuck on the train tracks. Farm Boy is Squad's partner here, almost lost 75,000 liters of grain. For whatever reason, the kickstand is a little bit too far down on this Wilson pup trailer here, catching on the train tracks. Uh oh, that doesn't look recoverable there. This does not look good for the squad farm here. Now it's time to get back to the important part, farming. Let's get some plant and some oats in this field. So throughout the day of the tournament, the rules kind of change. Now we can hire two hired hands. The problem is, is when I bought this drill, I did not know that. This drill does not work good with hired hands. It doesn't turn properly, so we ended up trading it in for in-game drill after a while. We will get what the sprayer missed over here.
So we had a setback on our farm. RIP to the T9 and the Kinsey Mach 2 speed disc. So I found a fault out with this map. It doesn't have boundaries. So we have a T9 in a Kinsey speed disc forever floating to the bottom because they fell off the edge of the map. So we had to sell it. Can't reset it. Can't do nothing. Got to sell it and rebuy it. So that's what we're doing here. So I decided I was not going to have to deal with this again. So, for the sake of our T9, and for every other hired hand that falls asleep at the wheel, we are going to make a stop gate here. So, first we will delete a little field here, and then we will put what I like to call the tractor catcher in. Now that the T9 feels safe in the field, he's off. So there you have it folks, the first day in the books. Very eventful day. We're going to have to do better in this. We're going to win this tournament. And I will see you later.